Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare DocuSign with the sign now. The first thing I'm going to compare our pricing plans and then I'm going to show you main features, some advantages and disadvantages and also how it feels to create a sign document with the sign now and DocuSign. So let's start. Now when you come here to sign now and you see that you can see $8 per user per month, uh, the, it's cheaper comparing to DocuSign. Two bucks less per month and you're gonna send documents for signing in DocuSign you have only five e-signatures a month on your basic account for the personal account. Then you're gonna see the standard and business pro, which is 25 bucks and 40 bucks. In sign out, it's for 15 and 30. So as you can see, sign out is cheaper. But DocuSign got more um, integrations, that's what I know. And then also that's the first thing. And the second thing is that you got also real estate plans. Uh, that you can choose so if you're working with a real estate you can go with DocuSign so that's another thing now to go further what I wanted to show you is this when you come here to DocuSign you can simply add a template have a reporting I simply click the plus I'm going to open a, a file same with sign now I'm going to disable my camera now so you can see everything you get also templates here that you can use and I'm going to show you how it works and what you can actually do with all your folders. So make a template or invite to sign, invite to sign. And here it's same. Next. Now I just add here name. Okay. And now I just click next. And here, same thing. So I'm going to add a signer one. Okay, this is a new signer and I can go start adding fields and as you can see how it works. So in DocuSign and sign now, I can add text field date. So I can add a date here. Let's make it bigger. I can add also request attachment, my signature, signature field. And I can add text. Is what I can add here, but you can go with a signature field right here, or I can go with text field that needs to be added. Okay, and here we got it right. When I compare it to the Docker sign again with the same style, I can go and I can add a signature, then I can add simple date sign, and I can add a text. So voila, here we got it. Hoppa, hoppa. And now what you can actually do with it. So in DocuSign, you can add rowing, formula, attachment, note, approve, decline, name, email, company, title. Here too, you can add a signature. But as you can see from my perspective, you're going to have more options in DocuSign comparing to sign now. But let's click here, save and invite and save and invite and let's see how it looks like. So click send. And also it's going to be sent. And now let's go to my email account. Sign now. This is the sign now. And now I'm going to open Okay, so and this is it. So what I can do, I have it right here. I can signature field and I can draw my signature. Sign, then I can add a date. And then I can add a, this is a text, right? When I come here, continue. And here I'm going to click sign. Change. I'm going to clear this one. Draw. Adapt and sign and require. This is a text. And uh, date is automatically added there. So you can see how it actually works and how it actually is. And this is the way how we can actually see the difference. So it's really up to you which one you like more. 
Uh, they are really similar. The way how you can actually do it. DocuSign got more features. But again, uh, if you need templates, they got it both. If you send in bulk, they got it both also sign out and DocuSign. But in my opinion, DocuSign got more integrations, but sign out uh, is cheaper. But and they got no limitations. So I would possibly go with the sign now if you want to sign a lot of documents with a business account and you're good to go. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.